Today we're looking at the Grow It Bonsai Kit. My wife bought me this last year for Valentine's Day. It was pretty much the last thing she ever got me, so I don't think I really need to explain how this is instantly my most sentimental tree. It says on the box to sow the seeds by October 2022, but I wouldn't wait that long. The sooner the better. So let's see what we have in here. We've got some bonsai mix, whatever, whatever that means. We've got some lollipop sticks. I'm guessing to write the date on because I can't exactly write the species down. And then we've got the pots and the soil. It's all that core stuff. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but it's all good. And then we have the instructions, which don't tell you what trees we've got. This is a great gift, but there are a few things that annoy me. First one is the box. It has a lovely old juniper on the front. I think my wife thought she was actually buying this tree, or maybe she thought she was buying the seeds to grow this tree. She also thought she was getting the pot. I don't really know what she was kind of confused at this point, so it's hard to tell what she meant, but I think any sort of beginner or someone with no knowledge of trees might think something similar. But I guess that's marketing though. I just think people need to be aware that it can take a hundred years to get a tree this good. And I can see past that. It was the bonsai mix that really annoyed me. So I emailed the company and asked what seeds I had. And to be fair to them, they got back to me and they were really nice. This mix is actually silver birch, downy birch, Japanese black pine and black alder. So three of the four are actually native here, so that's excellent. No juniper seeds though, so that's a, a bit strange. But anyway, let's get these seeds started. I'm going to do them in three batches. The first way will be following the instructions. I don't usually like instructions, especially when they don't tell you what seeds you've got, but let's see what happens. First, I got the core disc soaked and turned it into this sloppy soil mix. Then you add to your pot and you add the seeds. You add them dry, no pre-soak. Look at these seeds. How you meant to know what you've got unless you email, they ask them. They then want you to leave this sat somewhere for two weeks so it's like a slow soak well in the soil. After two weeks of being sat there, you're meant to put them in the fridge for three to six weeks. I don't know why there's such a big difference, I'd always go for the six weeks. If you can't be patient at this part, you'll get nowhere in this hobby. So just wait six weeks. Oh yeah, it's meant to be in a bag for the two week rest and the six weeks fridging, so don't forget the bag. So this is it eight weeks later in mid-April after sitting in the fridge and sitting on the shelf for a while. I just hid the whole thing in this pot so it wouldn't get thrown out. So let's see if anything has happened. Well right in the middle there is a little green tip. Also some mould so that's a bit of a worry but we do have life. A few weeks later and you can see some more sprouts. I left the bag closed for maybe two or three weeks but then slowly started to open it. I didn't want to shock it by changing the humidity levels too fast. This is now the middle of May, so it looks like we've definitely got a few growing. It's hard to tell what they are at this stage though, but it looks like the instructions have actually worked. You can see a bit of yellowing here. I I think this core is too damp. That's why I'm not a fan of it, but they are still growing. Here it is in July, so definitely a success so far. Let's look at how we did the other packets. So this is back in February again. This time I soaked the seeds in water for 48 hours. As you can see, there's a few floaters, so that's never good. Floaters usually don't germinate. So this time, I used my own soil mix. Well, I didn't have any mixed, so I added perlite and molar clay. I also didn't have any compost to hand, so I just mixed in some of that core stuff. It's pretty much close enough to compost on my normal soil mix anyway.
I then added the soaked seeds and covered them with a thin layer of soil on top. I then put this in the fridge. I left it in there for eight weeks. So the other one got two weeks sat on the shelf and then six weeks in the fridge. But this one got two days soaked in water and then straight in the fridge for eight weeks. So as you can see, I hid this one in a pot too. I didn't pre-bag it as the lid seemed pretty tight enough. So it's pretty much the same thing as being in a sealed bag, probably. So this is also mid-April, nothing yet. But in May we have some action, a few tiny sprouts. Here they are in June. And by July, they're looking good. It seems this method also works fine. So let's look at the third method I tried for the last two packets of seeds. If you've seen my Mame challenge video where I grew some seeds, I used the same technique as this video. I started by soaking the seeds for 48 hours and this time putting them in damp kitchen paper. I then bagged them up and fridged it for eight weeks. I also hid this as well. So at this point I'm totally overrun with seeds. I said last Christmas I didn't want any more seeds but Jared over at Jarhead Bonsai challenged me to grow some and then I got this kit. So I was panicking a bit and wondering where I was going to put all these seeds. So I squeezed them in here with my Mame challenge seeds. So this is me actually planting the other seeds but you get the idea. When I soaked the seeds it actually separated the floaters and non-floaters. Everyone says to throw them away as they won't work but I want to see if any of them would actually do anything. So the far right is the seeds that sank and should grow, and the middle area is the floaters, and that should just be like a barren wasteland. On the left is my Mame Challenge seeds, so just ignore them for now. So by the end of April we had a few things pop up. I've got such bad camera work here, but basically there is two or three on the right hand side, but not much. In June you can see there was a little bit going on. We have a pine in the far corner and weirdly that's all. In the middle section where it was all floaters we actually have some growth but not much but a few. In July we can see that the middle section has done okay and the pine is all we have on the right hand side which is very strange. This is actually the least effective way. I know it's not very scientific but if you handed me a pack of seeds this is the way I would normally try to grow them. So maybe I need to change my technique. Maybe they're just a bad pack of seeds. Anyway, those of you who are good at maths will realise February to July is not six months, it's only five so I owe you a month. She's going to have to wait until part 2 to see how they all finish off growing for the rest of the year. Thanks for watching and see you in part 2.